Well guys, finally after a long wait, you can see I've got the wind. It is not very high speed wind, but still it is enough to start it up. And these are the two wires coming out from the turbine. You can see nothing is connected. Now all that remains is a continuous test of the voltage that it is generating at such a low RPM. So guys, let's measure the voltage. Here as you can see at present it is producing around 5 volts DC. And the voltage is increasing and the weight is also increasing. Here I have reached around 6 point uh, or close to 7 volts which is pretty good more than 7 volts well this is the max I have reached yet 7.3 at least finally I'm getting 7.3 volts Let's point the meter towards 20 volts DC mode, okay, and connect these two wires. Okay, so the wires have been connected. Keep watching the display screen. I okay, will keep it like this, okay. Simple hand rotation 3 volts, 4 volts, 4.5 volts, yeah. Now let's do some rope rotation. Okay, keep watching the display screens. Whoa, the voltage was more than 20 volts. That's interesting. Let's do the test again. Seems like it has a 24 volts motor. Keep watching the display screen. 31 volts DC that is very nice once again let's see if I can take it even higher okay yeah 31 volts was the maximum I could do let's measure the current now okay. 
So guys, keep watching the display screen. Whoa, 5.69 amperes. Now the motor is very powerful. It is generating somewhere around 5.69. I'll take it as 6 amperes if I could just rotate it a little harder. So 6 amperes and 30 volts. So 180 watts. Okay, so guys, I'm going to try once again and a little more harder. Let's see if I can generate more amperes. Okay, keep watching the display screen. So guys, as you saw that I generated 6.10 amps with rope rotation. That was really high current. So now I'm going to test this 12 volts car indicator bulb. And I'm going to glow this with this generator. Okay, so the terminals have been connected. Let's wound the rope. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Nice. Next level. 